I was not born with a paintbrush in my hand. I started out in my life concentrating on science and math. I always thought those things were very important, but for some reason I just wanted to be an artist. I was painting in my dreams all night long. You know, she's always been a creative person ever since I, I've known her. And I said, well, you've always been successful in the past at everything you've tried, so go for it. One of the first classes I took was from a woman that painted like an old master. She'd come over and she'd say, mix this and this and put it there. And so you do a lot of waiting for her to come back. And after a while, I was just, I couldn't stand it. So I took my brush and I put, put something up there. And when she came back, she said, I like that right there. And it was the only mark that, that I had made as myself. And I realized that I don't need to paint like an old master. I just need to paint like myself. I couldn't really go into art until I learned to value the immeasurable things like beauty and happiness. You know, people started to have emotional reaction to her work. I think that was, the, for me, that was the turning point with the art. I think if you can evoke an emotional response in somebody, then you've really, you've, you've really done something. I think that people connect to her art first because of the vibrant colors that she uses, but I think that ultimately what people connect to is that she brings part of herself to all of her work. A palette knife is normally used just to mix a pile of paint, but you can use it to scoop up a big piece of paint and put it down, and it looks kind of like a patch of torn paper or, you know, the mark by the brush. The first time I, I did it, I thought, well, that was fun, but it's not a painting. And I set it over on top of the trash can. And then my husband came in and he said, oh, no, 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 I like this. The thing that I admire about Trisha's work is that she has a way to make those paintings and the light glow. And not everybody does that. In Dazzled by the Light, I was exploring the way that the sun at that time of day is so beautiful and makes so many wonderful colors. And the way that the orange light is contrasting against the snow and shadow, it changes, it progresses from yellow to the orange to cooler and cooler colors as it goes away. But you're seeing that there's beautiful light on the other side and that you could get there. It could be a symbol of hope. You know, we give thanks for what we, sometimes what we get in life, but we also should give thanks for what we can do, and how the skills that we have and the abilities that we have. And, and as an artist, if you, can, if you can bring joy and beauty to the world and put a smile on people's faces, that's a good thing. Life is beautiful and the more that you stop and ponder all the good fortune you've had in your life, the happier you are.